Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Rack. We are going to do an unboxing of Rajots of the Ganges. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's a design by Inca Brand and Marcus Brand. And it's published by Hush. And uh, yeah, this is a game that I am really looking forward to playing. I checked it out a bit uh, online, on YouTube and so on. Before getting my hands on it. And basically, what I learned is that it has a lot of sort of classical euro mechanism in it, but it's it looks really nice, a uh, really lovely theme here with the with the Indian theme. Uh, okay, so here we have the well, let's see here some punching out. Uh, this is like a player board. Uh, I learned uh, this is really cool that. Each player has one of these boards, so it's some tile laying involved here, and depending on how you put your tiles, uh, we'll, I'll show you when they come up, but there's like roads that lead around this board and will get you different bonuses. Uh, oh, here they are actually. Uh, so these are buildings and roads, sort of in the same tile, so I guess you can place these on here, and by connecting them you will get certain bonuses that you see, like here you get two coins I think and so on. So there's tile laying and there's um, worker placement, there's resource management, you know, you have to build these buildings and to build them, like this one, you need like four orange resources and um, yeah, those resources, as I will show you soon here, are actually dice. So you have sort of a worker placement thing where you go out and grab resources, but you're actually grabbing dice. Okay, here we have an elephant. Maybe this is the first player marker or something. <laughs> kind of looks like it. Um, yeah, I guess you could <laughs> build him together with this stuff and get the first player marker. I like that stuff when they do try to do something sort of unique for the game, it sort of fits the theme. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> All right, here's some other markers. So we have, I don't know what these are, perhaps some bonuses of some kind. And I guess that's our dice, basically, and coins and so on. Here's some characters, uh, more buildings, uh, different kind of resources needed to uh, build them. And here we have another player board and some green buildings. <coughs> and so on, here's the player sort of like this one is for the let's see if I can get this out here so this one is for the blue player and this uh, Shiva statue can sort of hold dice so all these hands will hold dice here uh, which looks really nice when it's uh, out there on the board from what I've seen and a lot more buildings so <laughs> and here's the actual uh, player or oh, the actual board so let's get that out here and I like that you try to find some new themes for board games. Um, it seems like it goes in these uh, sort of waves. So I think uh, there's a few of these Indian theme games now. I think Agra is one of them. Uh, a while it was just, you know, Mars and Vikings uh, and zombies. <laughs> so so uh, it's, it's nice that they can find some other stuff like this. Okay, so. Here's the Ganges River, and what you can do is you can go out here with your workers and make your little boat that you're going to have travel up the river, and as it keeps going up the river you get different kinds of uh, benefits depending on where you land. So here's the actual boats and so on. And here's the red ship, that uh, looks kind of good. And um, so it will travel here, and I think you can also modify these. Uh, there's some um, tokens you can put out, I think. Um, here's the dice. I guess there's more of these, but here's green and blue at least. And these are just standard six-sided dice, I guess. Uh, but the cool, I, I really like this design here, the way you have sort of these are resources and you place them on here uh, and then you can use them uh, to purchase or to build buildings and so on. So let's see, here should be more dice I guess. Here's the um, 
purple and orange. And let's see, here's uh, baggies, always nice to have that. I like when they include that. Here's the insert, I have no idea if this will fit well uh, later on. Now there's no cards though, so I guess we won't sleeve anything, and if we're just using tiles... Hmm, that could actually work. <laughs> for once, maybe the insert works for the game. Um, well, the thing is that usually inserts do work, but if you want to sleeve your games, then you usually get a problem with the cards. But there's no cards here, so... That's from what I can see, at least. I don't think there's any cards. Here's the uh, little worker meeples in player colors and so on. Mm, I'm not sure what this is, maybe it's just a marker for the points. Kind of cool system in this one as well. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but you have like points here, starting here at zero. And you have money starting here at zero. The game will end when one player gets their two markers to meet somewhere in the middle here. So you sort of have a thing that I really enjoy in games, which is player... What's it, what, what would I call it? Player affected end condition or something? The players can affect when the game ends, basically, that's, that's what I'm looking for. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of games have that, but that's something I really enjoy, that you don't just, um, you're not just left out to the, the what, sort of, uh, what the game, like, six rounds of gameplay and then it's over. You can actually affect when the game ends, because maybe you're in the lead, uh, you want to finish the game fast, and you can try to get, you know, uh, maybe you can get cash quick, you can get them up, and you can join your point marker. So, I ride just off the Ganges, lots of wooden meeples of course, uh, lovely board, it's two-sided, I'm not sure if it's uh, different in some way, uh, I have to figure that out. A lot of punching out to do, uh, all these uh, tokens and so on, cardboard, really nice cardboard, uh, the dice are just standard dice, but they look good. And they work well I think for what they're supposed to be, I think when you gather something you send your little guy out here. Um, like over here, for example, um, you can send your guy here and pay one, I think you pay one blue die to get two orange dice. So maybe you have like a low number uh, blue die, you pay it to get two orange dice, you get to roll them and see how valuable they will be. That's kind of a cool system as well, that it's not like one stone or one wood is always that, it's, it, it sort of depends, a bit like you um, have stone age actually. Uh, in some way. So I think this is inspired by a lot of great Euro games and I think this one is a great one as well from what I can see it's going to be exciting to play it. Thank you for watching this unboxing video and there's going to be a run through where I am uh, play it together with Rako here in the future. Thank you so much for watching, have a great evening, morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care, bye bye. Breathe in, look into these eyes, subscribe to the channel now, exhale. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.